So it's time for a small video on my post-fasting experience. As you know, I broke my fast with probably in the neighborhood of about 2,000 calories. However, I continued to lose weight. I, I got down to 190.3.4, somewhere in there, and stayed there for the next day. The reason for that being is my glycogen was completely depleted, so anything I ate, no matter what it was, was converted to glucose and put into my liver and my muscles. Then once that filled up, my weight began to creep up and I started to retain water again. And so my weight started to creep up to the highest I've gotten in the you know week since I started the fast. It's a uh, Wednesday right now. So yeah, since the week I started the fast, um, the highest I got is 195.6.5, who gives a fuck, point something. And then, uh, so I started to do, you know, I, I picked out Saturday and Sunday as usual. So I did a 36 hour fast on Monday. That went smoothly, and no hunger issues whatsoever, no cravings whatsoever. So my verdict is the longer fast makes 36s easier to do, and 36s are a pretty powerful fasting tool. Um, and then my weight has been decreasing, obviously, from the 36-hour fast. Um, I ate normal yesterday, and I still lost weight this morning when I weighed in. And granted, I was a little dehydrated. It's been hot as fuck and, and uh, all of that. So, so all in all, I'd say I regained, if I had to guesstimate, because I got down to this morning at 192.7 or 8. So I gained a little over a pound of fat back from that fast. I'm currently in the middle of another fast. I'm debating between another 36 or another 24. Um, and then... I'm going camping this weekend, which means I'll, pro I'll be lucky if I do 16s. To be honest with you, I, I don't plan on fast. It's going to be like a vacation. So I'm probably going to undo a lot of the progress I made with the large fast. However, the things that are sticking with me is it seems to be a bit easier to do the 36s now than it was before. So assuming I don't completely unadapt from fasting by having this little vacation, and I'm still going to try and, and do 16s to 20s somewhere in there um, during this, this trip, but uh, overall, I'd say my progress is, is pretty solid. I'd say that I'm definitely going to do the 72-hour fast again. You, you're going to regain your water weight probably five or six pounds it'll happen over time the longer you go on eating shitty foods that are high in salt and high in refined carbs the quicker you're going to regain your water weight it's that, that fucking simple so as you know i like my my fucked up foods so i'm going to keep eating my fucked up foods and uh keep living this lifestyle um so I'll, I'll probably, I don't know, I might do the 36-hour fast today. I'm moving again today, some more stuff, so I'm doing a lot of physical activity. So maybe I'll drop it down to 24 and call it, and then do my camping trip, my vacation, where I eat pretty much however the fuck I want to eat. And then I start over again uh, on Monday. I'll start doing more fasting, probably 336s a week until I get undo whatever damage I cause um, from this camping trip, so 336s, or maybe I'll do another 72, who knows, we'll see how I feel, see what I, what I got going on, if I don't have a lot going on physically, I could pull off another 72, but we'll see, we'll see how bad I fucked myself up over the weekend, you know, I'm, who knows. Uh, you know, I get full quicker too since I did the fast. I know that that's temporary, that the more I eat, the more my stomach will stretch and whatnot. But all in all, 
that's my opinion of what happens after you break the fast. I had absolutely no side effects whatsoever other than the carb crash that's typical when you eat a bunch of fucked up shit. So, other than that, everything was smooth. You know, I had the small little carb crash. Like I said, I didn't regain, start regaining weight till the day after. Um, and it was pretty quick that I got the water weight back. So your body does go into, as soon as you start pounding carbs and stuff, you know, your body's immediately absorbing whatever water you're drinking. You know, and I try and slow it down a little by maybe not drinking as much water. Hard to absorb water if you're not drinking water, but, you know, I manage it. So, and then I, keeping on a fasting routine afterwards, like, helps me level out. So the 36s are definitely what I would recommend after a long-term fast if you want to maintain the loss that you got out of the fast. If you do a 72-hour fast and you go back to eating like a pig, you will very quickly regain whatever weight you lost during the fast, you know. So my advice is don't quit fast and just because you do a long-term fast and lose a ton of weight because it'll come back like that like no problem you know so I made progress I've maintained some of the progress not all of the progress I'm not 190 you know I'm about two pounds up from from that so it's you know and these are scale numbers I realize so we'll see I my goal is to get down to 180 and then start building muscle and see my, my body is not liking to go below 190 and I don't know that I have to go much farther you know I'm almost in the normal BMI according to the BMI chart of lies and uh, people already think I look skinny and good the way I am now so I don't really I think it's just for me that I'm pushing to get down a little lower because I know I plan on bulking back up to this weight and it's gonna be a bulk you know, fast cycle to where I drop down to 180, 185, then come back up 190, and so on and so forth, back and forth until I start to notice muscle growth in, in addition to the fat that you gain when you try and gain muscle, because that's inevitable. You can't, unfortunately, you can't build muscle without bringing back some fat. So, but I'll never weigh over 200 again if I can help it. I think my ultimate goal is 195 with muscle definition, not fat. So that I think that'll be the body that I'm trying to achieve. Not a bodybuilder body, but toned, fit looking, with a little bit of loose skin, because you can't get rid of the fucking loose skin. I got loose skin on my ass cheeks, as you've seen from my videos, I got loose skin on my belly, and uh really good for holding fucking bloated water weight too so as long as I eat shitty foods I'm always gonna look a little puffy in that area probably even when I start building more muscle so remember I'm not a fucking expert I'm just a fucking asshole <laughs>